everyone what's up welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to design this automatic slider or carousal that you're seeing on your screen it's a very common element in modern days website design and even on app design as well so let's see how can we design this uh, automatic slider or carousal using just figma so let's get started <laughs> right now and as you can see I've created a dummy website actually the Airbnb website I've just recreated it in Figma so there's nothing fancy up here uh, in this gray rectangle that you're seeing on top is where we want to place our automatic slider or the carousal and we want to have like couple of images that cycle between them in this particular area okay so let's quickly start building this so if you see this rectangle is somewhere around 2230 and 1100 in height so what I've done is I have added four images i've got these four images in the same dimension okay and we want to cycle them uh, cycle between them automatically so i have these four images and i want to build a slider based out of these four images okay so let's get started with the process so first thing that we need to do is i'll just select all the images are one two three and four images that we have here and i'll just quickly club them together inside a frame so option command g is what i'm going to do and it's going to create a frame. So I'm just going to name this as slider component. Okay. Cool. So now we have our frame ready. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to reduce the bounds of this frame to this uh, boundary of this first slider image. Because if you see the area is just this much, not this big. So what we need to do is we need to change the bounds of this frame. How can we do that? We will just hit command on our keyboard. And I'll select the entire frame. If you see the entire frame is selected and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and resize the bounds of this frame to the size of the first element. Okay. So exactly 2230 by 1100. Now, if I do clip content here on the right side, if you see, you'll see that anything that is moving uh, or flowing out of that particular frame is not visible. So this is what we want. Basically at a time, we only want to see one image. So that's why we have reduced the bounds of this frame to the first elements frame okay now uh, this is done now what we need to do is uh, we'll be using interactive variants to build that automatic slider component okay so what we need to do is we need to create four uh, copies of this because as you see there are four images so four images will have four stages so let's make four copies of this okay And let me just name it well so that we know which one is one. So slider component one, I'll call this slider component two. This one is a slider component three and this one is slider component four. Okay. So now we have four slider components. Now what we want is in each of these component states that we have built here, uh, right now we have not changed them into components, but I'm just calling them components. Uh, we want that in each of these frame, a different image is, will be in the center or visible so in the first one first image is visible right similarly what we need to do is in the second one we want the second image to be visible now I'll just, I'll just toggle between clip content i'll just move everything on the sides so that we have ample space okay so if you see slider 2 uh, the first image is in the center whereas we want the second image to be in the center so what i'll do is i'll just select all the images and with my arrow keys i'll just move them on the Left, so that the second image is basically on the center of this particular frame so if I hit clip content again you see, you see the second image in the center okay so now we have to do the same process for all and in each of the frames we want a different image in the center so let's quickly do that So our slider components are ready. We have the four components and each of the frames now contain different uh, image in the center. Okay, if you can see all these four are different image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these four frames together and I'll go on the top and I'll create and I'll hit create component set. So what it's going to do is going to create a component set of the sliders and add all these four as variants in them. Okay, so now we have four variants. If I show you here on the left, You'll see all these are now inside this big component and these are the four variants that we have built already. Now, most of our part is now done. What we want to do is we just want to very quickly uh, 
map this up in the prototyping tab so let's quickly do that as well so i'll go to my prototyping tab and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the first slider component that we have and i'm going to drag this to the second artboard so as you see as you can do that you'll see this interaction menu that is coming up now if you see we want we don't want on click we want after delay and that's why we needed uh, this to be in the uh, interactive variants format we wanted this to be a component format because then only you'll get this after delay option okay so what we're going to do is component one to component two after delay change to this to slide a component two perfect smart animate ease out we're giving 500 milliseconds for the transition so that's smooth and easy and crisp and we also want that each image should stay on the screen for at least let's say 1000 milliseconds so that everyone can check out the images but it should not move away very fast so it'll stay on the screen for 1000 milliseconds and the transition the movement happens in 500 milliseconds so easy nice and slow okay and you can play around with these properties and see which one fits your requirement okay now we're going to do the similar thing from second image second component to the third one okay not on click we want after delay because we want it automatically again 1000 milliseconds and 500 millisecond is out perfect let's connect this to this again after delay 1000 milliseconds uh, ease out 500 milliseconds smart animate perfect so now one two three and four is done now we want it to cycle back to the first one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the last component that we have okay and i'll select this and i'll move it to the first component and not on click we want after delay smart animate 500 milliseconds and 1000 milliseconds here as well same properties that we want okay now our component set is ready and everything is linked together properly with uh, smart animate okay now what we want to do is as soon as you do this in the assets tab you will see that in my final page i have this component available now so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come here and drag this component here i'll remove this gray uh, rectangle that we have we don't need it anymore anymore come here i'll select this and i'll place it in the center okay and just move it around perfect uh, yeah i think this is perfect now our component set is ready now let's quickly see how this looks like in the preview window so i'll just hit preview and let's see as you can see our carousal is now ready our automatic carousal and slider is ready and it's cycling between the images really well and that's how you make an automatic carousal in Figma. Really simple, right? Uh, if you want to make it a little bit better, you want to polish it a little bit better and want to make it more intuitive, you can also add carousal dots below them. And I've already added it. It's just the same step, just add four dots and just move the dot between them. And if you do that, it'll look something like this, which I've done here. If you see, there's a dot below and that dot is moving with the image, right? And just indicates which image that you're seeing so it just indicates the number of images so just an additional step that you want to do just add four dots and add a selected dot and just move it along with the images in all the frames and yeah that's how it's done uh, let me know how you like the tutorial and what else you want me to try it out next time uh, till then take care goodbye and have a nice day